Good day, I'm Liesl Bretz with this week's top 90.6 FM news. ArcelorMittal South Africa's Chief Financial Officer CFO Desmond Maharaj has given notice of his intention to resign. He will step down as CFO and as an executive director of the company to pursue personal opportunities outside the business. AMSA's Tammy Dediza said in a statement, The effective date of Maharaja's resignation has taken account of the possible timing of the appointment of his successor and it has been agreed that it will be no earlier than 31 July and no later than 30 September 2021. This will allow adequate opportunity to identify and appoint a suitable successor. Dediza said the process to find a successor will begin immediately and the company will consider appropriate internal and external candidates. Chairman of ArcelorMittal SA's Board of Directors, Mpoh Makwana, said they are grateful to Desmond for his valuable contribution to the company and wish him well for the future. The civil rights organization of Reforum says it reached an agreement with Randwater over the recent months water crisis in Mfuleni. Randwater earlier this year implemented a decrease in water pressure as a credit control measure after non-payment by the Mfuleni local municipality. The municipality owes Randwater more than 1 billion rand but have time and again reneged on payment agreements reached. On 15 April 2021, Afri Forum submitted court papers against Rand Water in a bid to compel the utility to restore sufficient water supply to the affected communities. The organization requested in its court papers, among other things, that Rand Water be ordered to immediately restore water supply to the communities and that the utility be prevented from lowering water pressure in the future as a credit control measure. Randwater requested that an agreement be reached outside of court. The agreement includes that, among others, Afri Forum withdraws its court case on the condition that Randwater undertakes to restore water pressure and to refrain from lowering water pressure in the future. This agreement has been confirmed by the court. According to reports, the water pressure has since been restored in large parts of Infilini. The Mfuleni local municipality in a notice said that they, together with the Sedibeng district municipality, the Sedi and Midval, will be conducting a land use audit within the area. The municipality says the purpose of the audit is to assist the municipalities in doing better planning in order to improve the livelihood of communities. The municipality stresses that employees of a company called CADA, which is identifiable by the CADA logo on their clothes and vehicles, will be assisting the municipality with the data capturing for the land audit. And the Automobile Association, or AA, urges motorists to prepare their vehicles for winter. The association says it is important for motorists to be aware of the change in climate and to prepare adequately for the cold months ahead. It says vehicles should have a battery that is in good working condition as a fully charged battery in cold weather provides less than half of the power than in warm weather. Motorists should also ensure that their tires are not worn out as it is extremely dangerous in wet, snowy or icy conditions. And this is the end of today's bulletin. Follow the news team on Twitter and Facebook at 90.6 FM News. Also subscribe to our 90.6 FM TV News YouTube channel for more.